you guys asked for it so here it is my utopia kashtira deck profile i've done some changes since the last time i showed this deck in the combo video so here we go guys let's get into it first off you want to start with three of the astrotopia when an exceed is on the field you can trigger this effect in hand to special summon itself card can search your draw five spell card or the omni negate which is the most important card in a pinch can set up your draco future really easily by the way um, so there we go astrotopia really important card uh, next up is zw pegasus twin saber you search this as part of your omni negate setup combo with the leo utopia ray you attach it from the deck and when equipped to a, a utopia monster i believe it can negate a monster effect also if you hard draw it it's not the end of the world because in the combo video if you saw i hard drew it because my life was worth 2000 or less than the opponent i could special it and then equip it to a utopia monster so we're playing three of the cult how this card works is if you control a zubaba or gaga card on the field you can actually special summon this monster from the hand but because utopic automatically encounters every single of the archetype word it's really easy synergy this card can also special summon the glove straight from the graveyard uh, and the glove has a Great effect to spare summon a monster from the hand so there's really great synergy there we are playing just one of the glove though because of this deck and how i guess specific it is there are times where you only care about this card in the original combo and once that's done you don't really care about it anymore because it's great effect is you know as not a once per duel you can actually do it on the turn when it comes back to you so in that sense again it's great as a one-off and you do pitch it a lot of times because you can bring it back if you know your topic onomatopoeia is on the field three of the utopic onomatopoeia this it can summon all the names from the hand and they will get summoned in defense mode so that allows you to just spam the board realistically as well is cashe unicorn will get impermed or hand trapped or the theosis gets hand trapped or impermed you're good to go to play out the rest of your combo with a card like utopic onomatopoeia and the cult i hate that we have to run this at two because this card is so important for the deck and utopia eczema is summoned with this as material you can search the rank up spell and is the reason why you kind of play utopia right now because you can set up two to three even to four omni negates uh things to utopia dragoner so this card is what's going to allow you to search the onomata pyra this card also searches the utopic onomatopoeia because it has the onomat name you can change everything to the same level as a on a mat style card and because the deck is full of them you end up having you know the cashier fenris and cashier rise hearts become level four and suddenly you have a really easy draco future and potentially even more if you want to spice up the extra deck with a card like Prometheus Alan Bershon. So just FYI, some really techy stuff you can do with this card. Keep in mind, this card clashes with the Dimension Shifter and the Castillo Rise Heart, as this card needs to send the card to the graveyard or under, you know, a shifter. You can't do that. That is kind of a glass cannon that pushes out 10 disruptions, including follow-up. If you go second, maybe there's a world where we start playing Droplets and Dark Rulers just so we can do our crazy combo. You play six of these because of automatic pickup. Run Rota, which can search the Castillo Rise Heart. Usually you search the Astrotopia or any of the missing pieces of the deck. The top of us, we talked about this card. This card is integral to the deck. Just make sure you're able to line it up correctly. So you can also draw five. You need double or nothing in the deck. You can actually do the 10k OTK, which I have done to quite a few people. Ira, which is pretty hilarious if it's in your hand yeah utopia double is kind of useless this way one of my favorite cards in modern Yu-Gi-Oh because you can draw five to six to sometimes seven eight cards because every time you summon a utopia monster pay 500 lap points draw a card and it's almost per turn so you get to draw into your whole deck let's say for example you have a cash unicorn on the board you got impaired you do your utopia combo you suddenly draw into the uh, Theosis, and from there, we're going to summon our Shangula, our Arise Heart. Let's move on to the monster and spell lineup for the Kashtiras. The reason why you only play one of this is because you only play two Fenris. Ultimately, all you want to do is search the Kashtira Unicorn and do the full bread and butter Kashtira combo. And in that combo, you really only use one Fenrir, one Rise Heart. But because Fenrir alone is so useful and so powerful, he's a board breaker by himself and, you know, forces a negation or an answer. Three Unicorn is going to guarantee us the ability to find our combo. You can search the one birth which we are playing. So when your opponent activates a monster fed, you can look at the extra deck and rip a card face down. It's a really useful ability. And then coming up next, we're playing two Kashtira Theosis and one Kashtira birth. So Theosis is obviously part of the combo. Summon a Kashtira with a different attribute in defense. Really important card gets your Fender on the board. I think birth is great as a follow-up card. I love having this card on the field because it's spell effect. And in a branded matchup, they activate branded fusion. They send two cards. Because they turn priority, their effects happen first. If anything was sent and triggers, so because we happened last in the chain. All of those cards get banished face down, so the Albaz also gets banished face down. This is basically your Castillo Unicorn. You want to run max copies of the card. Speaking of Castillo Unicorn, we have the seventh one. Because we're in terraforming, I really want to run the Utopia Field Spell, but that is a nice to have card. And in this deck, we want it to be as competitive as possible. Uh, the Field Spell does do a really good job, and of course, with Shangri La. You can bring out a monster from the deck in the standby and the field spell trigger to also pop a card on the field which can by the way you can pop your own dragon R once all the materials are gone it's kind of useless at that point and that's a really smart way of freeing up your board so you can summon more cash tiers. maybe your big bang was banished for the arise heart and it triggers to bring out a fenrir 
under one of the materials so a really techy option of course the one follow-up big bang just like i mentioned we do make sure we play that you know what we have to play this <laughs> we'll play three cross out designator because like i said this is a glass cannon going first build everything we do we can do going second but in this meta going second is really difficult especially with decks like branded running around with so many disruptions everywhere classic sword soul disruption kashtira disruption going first we want to protect our combo as much as possible so run the nibiru the primal being which is a decent card to run in the main deck anyway and i guess in the mirror match you can also declare unicorn even better going first against the mirror match number protection is you're out to anything in the game typically the book of eclipse uh, they do get a uh, priority in the draw phase to do their clip so you wouldn't have had your harbinger on the field just yet but then you can add your harbinger on the field after to negate say a tasking or anything like that the utopia engine is going to protect everything that the opponent will throw at your Kashtira card. And because the Kashtira engine is so simple, so streamlined now in this version, you know, the Utopia cards have free room to fill the board up with negations and things like that. If you've seen the combo video, I like filled up the whole board with five back row, five monsters. And it's crazy that Utopia can now synergize with a really dominant deck that's in the metal. Okay, that's been the monsters. I want to go into the extra deck. Starting off, we have Utopia, Utopia Ray, Utopia Double. Yeah, Utopia Double is pretty important. Detached material. Add the double nothing from deck to hand and then go into any Utopia monster. I'm assuming turn one, if I do my combo, I'm going to win the game because the negations are too damn strong. Utopia Dragonite can detach two materials and summon any number monster from the extra deck and give it a material. This card has even more use in this version of the deck with Kashtira. You know, on your turn, detach to some Leo Utopia Raid. Then your opponent's turn, summon Harbinger and have that spell negation ready. And then next up, we have Utopic Sage. This is what gets us the ZS Ascended Sage from the deck. It's branded opening, but it can also trigger on the field for the first card you detach off of draco future as well fyi just so that effect is like gaga magician is simply here as a easy and quick rank four that we summoned you know maybe utopic sages in the graveyard magician brings it back onto draco future really nice stuff utopic future has a really neat effect guys don't forget this card can steal monsters when it attacks this card was actually in one of the top four wisest vegas deck lists for a castera deck and in a utopia deck it obviously makes a lot more sense these are your two dragonar targets that you summon from the extra deck so there we go that's the uh, utopia extra deck we have one arise art one shangri-la and one Diablosis. So Diablosis, you have to play in a Kashtira deck. It's great to also figure out what the hell your opponent is playing. Maybe you see a Mud Dragon in there or a Garura. You might want to snipe that so you don't get super polyed in the branded matchup. This is too much power for one person. Which I do 99% of the time and seems to go well. Why are we playing Kashtira? Well, a Rice Heart is a game ender by himself especially when he has big bag attached to him and then shangri-la is the way you get into a rice heart really easily with the one card exceed material when the turn comes back to us of course shangri-la has a great protection effect as well on our standby bring out fenrir win the game so it's really important for that reason and the next up is the one zeus and the one big guy so Remember how I mentioned Dragonar can bring out number monsters? You can actually bring out the big eye and steal stuff. Theoblosis is also a number monster. Don't forget that. We can also bring him out with the Utopic Dragonar. And that's been the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below if you want to see me take this deck online. And I, of course, I can't wait to summon the Utopia Rising, which is coming out in the Maze of Memory set. And that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.